Hey there, it's Raya, and I'm here in my art studio. Today I'm just doing a update. Um, I haven't been doing videos, I haven't been posting videos the last couple of weeks, and I felt like I wanted to do a little video on why that is, just because I have been doing consistent videos for like quite a while now, and Basically, a couple weeks ago, well, I started adding some things into my life that just started to make it a little bit uh, more full than it has been. All positive stuff, but um, yeah, it, it's just a fuller schedule than I have been used to. And so it started to feel a little bit like I, I was doing these videos, so I was taking time to like edit and you know, it was fun to like play with it and learn the new software and um, try to do like intros and outros and just all that kind of stuff to, I don't know, like pizzazz it or whatever. Um, but it started to feel like I was spending all this energy on making these videos and not really sure if it's helping anybody or reaching anybody uh, in an impactful way. And <clears throat> About the same time I was thinking about that, my husband and I were talking just more about community and I started thinking about um, my sphere of influence. And with all the online stuff and the different platforms, there's like this feeling of I'm trying to reach the ethereal someone and the ethereal somewhere out there. And even if it does reach somebody and impact them in a positive way. I don't necessarily know that because most of us don't take time to like uh, write posts on videos like, hey, this is how this information impacted my life. Even though like there's plenty of videos I've watched where it impacted my life and I didn't say anything. Like most of us just don't really do that. And so my stuff might be helping somebody, but I don't know and I'm not they're not a part of my immediate community. And so there's not that, um, I'm gonna say like bolstering of them and me together and like the upbuilding of the community as a whole. And Josh, my husband and I are a part of a pretty tight knit church community in Northeast Portland. Uh, if you've seen any of my videos, you're probably aware. I'm a full-time artist. I'm in my art studio, which is in the bell tower of our church building. And so I got to thinking, I'm already a part of this wonderful community. We've got a lot of artists in our church and we are starting to kind of pull together to create more of a creative community here. I'm really excited about that. And I started to want to reevaluate what I'm spending my time on because I enjoy making these videos. Um, a lot of time just for myself and the hope that also it might impact some other artists out there who are um, just trying to find the way of living that works for them. But I got to thinking I, I could make videos for people who are in my community. And I had to pause for a second there. I was hearing some like strange noises. But I think it's the painters because we're getting the exterior of the church building painted so that it doesn't rot and fall apart. Um, anyway, what was I saying? I am interested in this idea of doing the things that I already do, like making videos and my paintings and the writing that I do and all of these other things and using those to specifically impact my friends and the people who are in my community and that that is the sphere of influence I have. Josh and I live in this same neighborhood as our church building and obviously my studio is here. He works from home so we spend like a lot of time in this neighborhood. We know people at the local coffee shops and the local stores. He spends a lot of time going around to like making friends at the local shops and meeting the neighbors. We've got a relationship with a number of our neighbors. And we just had this conversation about how real impact, 
Well, okay, here's an example. Think of like throwing a rock into a pond. You get the biggest splash right where the rock hits and the bigger the rock, the bigger the splash. And yes, like those ripples go and they reach far out. Versus if you take a handful of like small pebbles and you throw it in and those pebbles are more scattered, they still make, um, you know, splashes, but they're not as big and the ripples don't reach as far. And so I thought of this uh, analogy and as like a uh, representation of your sphere of influence being like the community that you're in and impacting your immediate community and that having uh, a bigger effect like the rock going into the water versus trying to reach like the ethereal people in the ethereal somewhere via like social media platforms and how it's more like those pebbles that you toss in and you're kind of reaching people far and wide but the impact isn't maybe as big because they're not part of your um, community and so and, and Josh and I feel very passionate about our communities and people um, pouring themselves into their local communities and that if we actually did that and loved our literal neighbors that so I believe that like all needs could be eradicated if we loved the people next door to us instead of trying to you know just focus on people on the other side of the world who yes are in need but then you are um, your neighbor might be suffering and you don't even know and the people on the other side of the world if the people in their communities were helping then I feel like that suffering could be eradicated and the suffering of like your neighbor if we're all paying attention to the people around us so all of that to say I'm just in this time of re-evaluating my use of media platforms uh, by nature, I don't like social media. I actually really dislike it. Um, my use of YouTube has been like, you know, I find it to be an okay platform. Mostly positive. Um, I started doing videos like, I don't know, four years ago, I think about four years ago when I went to be an adventure guide for the summer out in the desert. And I started doing little uh, vlogs just for myself so that I could remember things. And I started posting them privately and then ended up sharing some of them. And then when I came back home from that summer and Josh and I got married and I didn't have a job at that point and I was just like experimenting, trying to figure out what am I supposed to do with my life. And so making videos helped me kind of during that weird wonky process. And over the years, it's just keeps growing and changing and transforming. And now I'm, you know, sharing my art and, and trying to share helpful information sometimes. And so that's how I started using YouTube. That's kind of like why I started using YouTube. I don't really use other social medias. I've had an Instagram, but it, ugh, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm trying to use it as like a positive way to put beautiful inspirational things out there but I just uh, it's just not designed for like mental health and positive connections so it's hard to use it in a positive way it's like swimming upstream just fighting current so I am reevaluating all of those things because I really just want to hone in my focus and my presence of being on what I am literally you know making and the people that I'm literally with and on the things that are real and tangible and touchable in my life so that I can be more present and show up for the people that I love and, and make the art that I'm meant to make and do my best work. So that is the short and long of why I haven't been putting up videos the last few weeks. I'm not going to stop doing videos um but i reckon i will be in a little bit of a season where they're not as consistent i imagine it probably won't be every thursday 
it could be, I don't know. I just want to give myself the space to kind of step back and reassess uh, how I'm using this platform. I'm thinking that one way that might look is doing some more creative videos again. Um, just having like fun with film and yeah, I've got some ideas brewing on that. So I think that's one way it might look. Um, I also have had some ideas about poetry. I have a poetry playlist, not on the main uh, part of my YouTube, but I have so much poetry. And last year when COVID started, I was like transcribing a bunch of it because it's just in all of these scattered journals. And I was writing it and like doing small edits and like writing it down or typing it up so that it could all be in one place. I think I got about halfway done. Um, there's just journals and journals full of poetry. And so I do have the desire to make a lot of poetry uh, videos or do some fun like spoken word with, you know, beautiful B-roll or like uh, utilize the sewing that I have been enjoying doing. I want to make costumes at some point or like fantasy clothing and maybe utilizing that with like the spoken word and I don't know. I've got a lot of ideas just along the creative side of what I want to do with uh, film that isn't necessarily like me just talking. Um, so that is one way that it might start to look, but I, I might just take a couple weeks of figuring that out as I like continue to reevaluate because I have ideas, but I don't have my kind of clear path forward. Um, I have also been working on like some larger projects. I've been, well, I've been working on this painting behind me and also this figure painting, which I am um, basing off of a figure drawing I did a while back. So I've got smaller things that I'm doing, but I have been doing some large projects, one of which has been like renovating the tower lounge just below my art studio. And that was, so far has looked like um, I painted the whole thing this kind of mustardy yellow and it's got dark uh, trim, dark wood trim around like the windows and the floor and we've got like a, a big area rug and a sectional couch and like this really cool wingback chair and I thrifted these super colorful pillows and this like faux cowhide that I draped all over the sectional couch with the colorful pillows. And I found this like faux, well actually it might be real. No, I think it's probably faux, sheepskin. Actually my, I don't know if it's real or not. I thrifted it. So I found that to drape over the back of the wing back chair and like more colorful pillows and um, some stuff over the, ottoman I guess it's like gold blanket and this cool tray and like some pottery and I found the most beautiful like six foot tall live edge birch slab at this place this like metal wood salvage place that I went to and it coated that with polyacrylic and we put legs on it and it is now like this epic table and I'm going to today actually find like some sweet stools for it and I'm going to do a little mural on the bottom of the hatch that leads up into my studio. Um, I want to do a mural, I want to get a chandelier. So it's been like quite a project, just a lot of like planning and thrifting and like getting the stuff, finding stuff. Um, so I'm excited for that to be done in the next few weeks. I, that is my goal. And I have also been editing my book. Um, not so much on that recently, just because of the space downstairs and the fact that I was also doing a bunch at our house. Uh, lots of like, let's say redecorating. Um, renovating is not, that's too extreme of a word. Redecorating. 
And I'm excited to get back into like editing my book. I started getting new ideas for other books I want to do. I have ideas for like zines of poetry or like shorter topics, maybe even a fictional story because I've started to just have some inklings of like some fictional stories. And I'm excited to also get back into sewing. I bought all this new fabric and I've got plans for it. I just need to end a couple of my other projects before I jump back into that because otherwise it's too much. So I finished our house. I'm going to finish the space downstairs in the next few weeks and then I'm going to get back to some of the other things that I want to do and I'm very excited for that. So um, I would say maybe look forward if you usually watch my videos, maybe look forward to some fun creative videos coming in the future and also that there might be a little break between now and then, but I'm not totally sure. It's kind of just, I'll see what happens. So that is my artist update. That is definitely not all that's been happening, but that is some of the stuff that's been happening. So I'm excited to see what comes next.